Hi, welcome back to this series of Qigong exercises, which will eventually form the entirety of the qi, Shibashi, or the 18 Qigong form. Uh, last session, we looked at the raising the arms, raising the chi. Okay, so we were breathing in, raising the arms, shoulder height, exhaling, pushing down towards the Dantian. From the mental focus, we were drawing in from the Dantian up to the chest. As we were exhaling, we were breathing out to the Lao Gong, uh, acupressure, acupuncture point in the palms. Okay, so the attention will remain in the acupressure point in the palms for this second exercise called opening the chest. Okay, so we're imagining we've just finished the first part, we're sinking down, raising the arms. So for the next repetition, we'd raise up in the same manner. So we're straightening the legs, bringing the arms up, and then we begin to open the chest. So we turn the palms, open out to the sides, and then gently Begin to bring the hands together and sinking down. So we're just going to breathe in. Continue to breathe in as we open the chest and then breathe out. Just sinking down. So imagine that you're just lifting up, opening the drapes in the morning, letting the fresh air in, and then we exhale, closing and down. So the attention is just remaining in the palms as we come up, continue to inhale and then exhale. Imagine you're squashing a balloon and then pushing down slightly. Again, we want to breathe, fill the abdomen with the in-breath and then exhale. Okay, the tongue gently resting on the upper palate, we breathe in. And then we're breathing out. Okay, so just mental. Opening up. Imagine big horizons as you open. Exhale. Push down. Okay, so from the sides, it's important. The legs are bent when we press down. Keeping the spine straight. Hips tucked under slightly to keep the spine as straight as possible. We're going to breathe in. Straightening the knees, but not locking them. Inhale, and then change the palms. Exhale, push down. Okay, if you're struggling with the breath, the length of the breath, you can split this up so that you're breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, again, this is good for the circulation. It's good for the mental focus. Alertness helps with depression and insomnia. Again, this idea of working with the chest, helping the heart and the lungs, relieves palpitations, chest pains, or the tightness in the chest, rather. Just breathing in, opening up, and breathing out. Just nice and relaxed. Open it up and relax. So as we think of the theory of this, there's perhaps a lot to take in when we think about the posture, think about the position of the tongue, where we're breathing from, the lifting and the lowering of the body, the softening of the knees, keeping the spine straight. But eventually through practice, we want all this then to go into the subconscious so that you're no longer thinking about that. So instead, you can think in a meditative state, just letting go of any thoughts, disturbing thoughts, worrying thoughts. We want to dispel feelings of fear, anxiety. As we practice, just let go. Those negative feelings, just breathing in and breathing out. It's also good for asthma sufferers as well, so particularly pertinent at this time with this uh, coronavirus around. Just breathing in and breathing out. Nice and relaxed. Okay, so there's an example for the second the uh, shibashi form, this is called opening the chest. 
Okay, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next. If you find this useful, again, please like, uh, comment if you've got any comments, um, share and obviously subscribe. I think I've got two more subscribers today, so uh, this is all going, going great. <laughs> but at the moment, no one's watching, so if you do like to subscribe and share, that'd be great. Okay, so look after yourselves and each other. Take care. Bye-bye.